Blessings, blessings in Jesus' name. Uh, back with another short video. And I made a video earlier talking about the legal rights, basically, that the enemy uses or the ways the enemy uses our sins or transgressions or iniquity to harass us, to afflict us, to torment us, torment our lives. And I just wanted to name a few of uh, things that the enemy uses to basically use as an open door to afflict our lives, our relationships, our health, our wealth, our generation. And all these things, in some form or fashion, I'm guilty of. You know, some things were before me that my ancestors did. And you have to have revelation. The Holy Spirit can show you different things that your ancestors did. Even hundreds of thousands of years ago, God can show you. Because God operate. he don't operate in time. He's immortal. He in the past, present, and the future. And God can give you revelation of some things you might be struggling with that your ancestors opened the door to. And those things have to be repented of and the covenants and the agreements uh, be broken. They, they have to be broken. Take the next left onto South 31. To Can't break the, uh, the cycle of destruction that might be in your life or your child's life. You don't understand. A lot, a lot of why things happen. So I was just gonna name a few things that happened to me. Uh, one thing is sorcery. That's through drugs. Cocaine was my thing. Uh, drinking, alcohol. I mean, if you go to the liquor store, it, it says spirits. So getting drunk, a high. I mean, you can use mushrooms, uh, LSD, cocaine. They got fentanyl now. They got assortment of pills. And all this stuff is basically sorcery. Uh, they got people drinking uh, um, uh, cough syrup, getting high. So, you know, weed is a big one. People say, well, it come from the earth. But uh, Jesus didn't say nowhere to roll up no blunt and smoke it. He didn't say that. Now, people do smoke it, mar medical marijuana, for pain. Uh, you know, people have, uh, you know, seizures and things like that. That's that's prescribed for those. But most people, they just want to get a buzz and get high, not knowing that that's a, a big open door, sorcery, drugs, a, a sorcery. Nobody's really using natural things from the earth. Everything has been cut with something. Something's mixed in. Some man-made synthetic um, ingredient is in that, and it opens you up to the, uh, the demonic realm. Even witches use certain drugs to open them up to the spiritual realm because you can actually see uh, certain spiritual beings, and certain spiritual beings uh, can see you after using certain drugs like peyote, mushrooms, and stuff like that. Indians used it in their spiritual thing. But it's very demonic. Uh, I name alcohol and drugs, mushrooms, pills, cocaine. I mean, these are just some of the, uh, the Bible call it pharmacia or sorcery that opens us up, gives the devil a legal right. Now, I mean, it's like, as Christians, a lot of times we, we you know, we, we able to overcome these things uh, we say hey well fornication and adultery those are big ones open doors but then hey nobody they, they or you, you ignore oral sex that's a big one using sexual toys um gambling that's a big one i'm guilty um just you know lying bearing false witness being a hypocrite, all these things are open door. Lasciviousness. Uh, Paul he named them in Galatians chapter five. Fruits of the spirit, revelings. You know, too much, too partying. Um, just 
it's a it's a it's a very um a multitude of different things the enemy use to uh have a legal right to torment afflict and uh destroy us then now you have generational curses now one big thing i i see in a lot of black people is prostate cancer sickness does not come from god a lot of black men get prostate cancer and it seems like a lot of people in certain bloodlines, they get cancer or diabetes or, uh, or high blood pressure. Those are generational curses. Those generational demons. Those That's not anything from God. That's from the enemy. And it can be broken. A lot of times you use medicine or you can eat right, change your diet. But sometimes people can do all that thing and still have high blood pressure and die, be diabetic and have cancer. You say, well, this lady had a breast cancer. Her um, daughter had breast cancer. Her granddaughter had breast cancer. Think about that. That's weird. That's that's the money. That's that's a generational curse that passes on through the bloodline. Somewhere down the line, down the line, something was open to an ancestor to give that those unclean spirits a demon a legal right to torment that family in that way. This, this is not godly. This is not the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is just the opposite with healing, with patience, love, long suffering. So, you know, your health, health issues, drugs, drinking, lying, smoking cigarettes is a big legal right for COPD and cancers and all this thing. That, that's the money. God didn't tell us to, to roll up no cigarette. And I'm guilty. I smoked for a long time with 3,000 3, different chemicals in a cigarette. Think about that. And a cigarette, it's like sugar, is, is more addictive than uh, cocaine addiction because it actually gives you, uh, your, your mind releases certain chemicals that give you a, a, a certain type of uh, um dopamine or releasing your brain and your brain crave that the enemy know that now, most of these things like a uh, drinking and drugs give you some type of rush a dopamine release it's the opposite of cortisone that that goes against your body but dopamine it will give you a release it's like having a uh, uh, sex with your wife or husband I'm just gonna use that not to be in uh, graphic but once you have an orgasm it give you a release chemical release pleasure same thing with drugs and drinking. You get a buzz. People don't drink and smoke for health benefits, but not knowing that it gives the enemy a legal right to destroy your body. I seen people drink when I was little. Some of my neighbors drink every day. They couldn't stop. Or they couldn't they could not drink stop drinking. Gin, that was a big one. Every day drinking, they was fighting. They were causing the byproducts of the drink, cause fighting, you know, um, other sickness. But both of the people died. They was nice people because their uh, is it, their liver got ate up with cirrhosis. Cirrhosis of the liver. It, it destroyed their liver. And these wasn't real, real, real old people. Maybe fifties and sixties. But it destroyed them. I seen it destroy my uncles. Because once the enemy get a hold of you physically, then you're open spiritually. You ain't bondage, what you call strongholds. You get a strong man power that's inside of your flesh and your soul. And you ended up having a strongholds. Just like I was saying earlier in another video about people getting molested and raped and and there wasn't no fault of theirs that's like sometimes people can be uh they can be drugged Exit the traffic circle onto south 30. they can smoke weed but somebody can lace it with something else and they become instantly hooked just like that they become instantly hooked and they got to have that cocaine or fentanyl or whatever and once the enemy see that, the enemy is able to come in and because of this one thing, you got seven other different byproducts. It's always a root 
to why people do what they do. Some per a person can be wounded from a divorce. You know, they could be broken or the children affected because the parents divorce. So that child seeks some type of um, uh, comfort or relief from his parents being divorced or her parents being divorced. And maybe they try sex or drugs or something. Then it open up all these other doors. That's how the enemy operates. That's how he operated with uh, Adam and Eve. Now, there was other people on the earth, but God made a garden east of Eden and put them in it. But once they sinned, that was a, a, Eden was a portal to heaven. God had to put them out because the tree of life was there. Then he said, because of your, your sin and your transgression, your disregard for eating off of a certain tree, tree of knowledge, good and evil, you're going to have to till the earth. By the sweat of your brow You're going to die now You're going to start getting sickness uh, But that's Because you had Unclean spirits there You had You had the enemy there And the enemy was able In the book of Genesis Because of Them opening the door um, If I uh, If I could say this Later on down the line You had these fallen angels having a legal right and they chose of, of the women that they wanted to to marry these women and have sex with them and create raphium they were nephilim the raphium they created uh children half angel half half man basically monsters god didn't have nothing to do with that they couldn't be redeemed and they were very wicked so all this because of Adam and Eve opening the door. The door, the, 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 the earth was like, it was the footstool of God. The earth, that garden, it mirrored, it mirrored heaven. Same thing in the garden. God's footstool was just like the third heaven. But God had to close that up, push men out, and put cherubim, angels, to block them from going back. And nobody can find it because that's a portal to heaven. But man basically cursed himself. First, uh, Adam and Eve did. So you see, you see what happened during Noah's time. You know, you had all these patriots. You had, you know, Enoch. You had Methuselah. All these things, but it was so bad on the earth. God had to destroy it. It's the same thing that's happening now. People progression more and more in immorality you know with uh pervertedness you see men acting like women men women acting like men because they have giant spirits in them the spirit the disembodied spirits are getting into the people's flesh and their souls and even some people are possessed you see people on drugs real bad they walking around like zombies I mean, it's very sad, but it's because of the open doors of uh, a sorcery, because of the open doors of our generation. I have some cousins right now, you know, from a, a line, a family line of Jacksons. I have Jackson, but the mom and dad died young because of one, the unhealthiness of the mom, diabetic very overweight breathing problem but the dad strung out on uh, uh, drugs so guess what happened to the children all the children with three, three out of four of the children strung out on cocaine right now and hopefully that hope hopefully their children won't be strung out but it's a good good chance because those those unclean spirits are operating right there but that came from a side of my family from the country that always used to get high by drinking and partying you know and juke joints a lot of people can't see it but i i see it i see the generation i see because it happened to me i open i allowed it i made the choice and i opened it open the door that was already a door but i opened it wider by drinking and uh, you know doing 
illegal drugs and those things that were in my bloodline that was already there they were just waiting for an opportunity to take control of me and it almost destroyed my life I did it to myself I did it so I mean we see it the generational curses they can all be broken that's the good news the good news whatever it is that got a hold of you it can be broken through the power of Jesus Christ Jesus he he demonstrated his power in the four Gospels with the people like the woman at the well that had five husbands basically she was a, a, a type of whore he was letting her know hey you've been with all these men hey Give it up, repent, confess it, come on with me. Uh, the woman that was caught, and I'm not picking on women, in the act of uh, adultery. You know, he said, hey, I forgive you and go and sin no more. And the people, uh, the blind Bartimaeus, the woman that had the issue of blood, all oh, the man that had the withered hand. Apologies, I don't understand. All these different things that God was able, the man in the tomb that had legion, he had thousands of demons in him. But God was able to cast them out to give a person an opportunity, you know, to live a normal life. So I don't know what might have you bound for that family members that have you bound. It's either uh, a generational thing or something you know that's trendy right now a lot of things are trendy people do a lot of weird things not understanding that a lot of these things don't come from God they come from the enemy it's like the music even the music is polluted people doing witchcraft over the masters and when the people you listen to the music it actually bewitch you it open you up to demons people go to the concert like the Travis Scott concert Jay-Z concert these people are high level witches and warlocks they're actually doing witchcraft over you even though the, the albums you buy well you don't have an album the music you listen to it's actually the frequencies and the sound is polluting you even in the churches now you got so many fake pastors that's operating in witchcraft they lay hands on you and they, they're actually pulling things out of you and putting unclean spirits in you a person might can get healed from something, but all they doing is uh, making that demon inside of that person leave, and it's going to go into another person. But the healing don't last. That's like going to a palm reader, or a divine, or, or, um, or um, a herbalist or something. You have to keep going to that person over and over, and they just get money, thousands and thousands of dollars out of people. God don't operate that. Once he heal you, God heal you heal. If he restore you, a limb is restored. It don't uh, um, not be there anymore. Or if you, you deliver it, you, you deliver it. You don't have to do no Reiki or no spiritual bath and all this uh, Kundalini stuff and all, all this weird crystals and stuff, new age stuff. So... I just wanted to make a video. Maybe this helps somebody. You got to, uh, you know, be careful with the things you watch on TV. A lot of the horror movies. That's another thing. The movies, the music, the things you you allow into your eye gates. These are these are a lot of different things that the enemy is using to gain illegal rights to to the people. So hopefully this helps somebody. And if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, accept him today. If you're battling even in your dreams, you're having weird dreams. And I, I'm, I'm part of this. And a lot of times you can't understand. Pray and ask God to give you some type of direction, revelation, or direct you to the right person uh, to be set free. Because the enemy... Is infiltrated everything, even the food we eat. You have to sanctify the food that you eat. Bless the food because a lot of times it, you might have, you don't know, might have some type of human flesh or uh, blood in it or some type of wickedness spoke over. It's dedicated um, to uh, uh, demonic gods. You know, a lot of us, a lot of us get caught up in idolatry. You know, worshiping football team, basketball team, uh, uh, movie stars. 
You got to be. You got. You got to be on it. You got to have this uh, discernment because the enemy has infiltrated everything: the water, the food, every aspect of our lives. So, even the schools. I want to say that I see where they're allowing. Uh, it's it's crazy. They're allowing uh, transgender to teach little kids. They teaching them about uh, uh, anal sex. So all this thing has permeated the world. And God said, as in the days of Noah, it will be worse in the last days. And we're here. We're right here at it. We see it. Even with them, with the uh, shots. I'm just going to say that. And the different things, the atomizer, and the different thing they're doing to pervert people's DNA. So... Hopefully this helps somebody open your eyes to what's really going on and to the the, 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 the legal rights the enemy have he used to attack attack you, your family, your your, your generation. It's open doors. If you if you know if you open any doors in any of these ways or your family open those doors, you can close these doors. You have to repent first of all, ask God to show you. Um, uh, anything your ancestors did or ask some of your family members some of the things, the weird things incest, rape or drugs or, or root working, voodoo or whatever ask and, and repent for all those things for all the sins that you know of all the things you've done in your life then you break the covenant and break the curses through the power of God you get prayer points or you find somebody on the internet Regarding that subject to pray with you or you repeat or whatever to break the covenant and the curses Then the next thing you have to bind Bind those strong man powers. You have to bind the strong man power You have to bind them and cast them out. You have to send them uh, Out of your body cast them out of your body out of your generation out of your finances You know a lot of time the enemy you, you want you can start a business and it don't go nowhere or you can work 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 and you're always broke that's because uh, a lot of times your ancestors have sold you out in some kind of way or you open the door to the, to where the enemy uh, you know it, it takes ta he takes all your money or causes you not to lose all your money or you mismanage your money he come to kill steal and destroy it's like he did in the book of Job you know, Job had a hedge of protection around him by God. So when God pulled that hedge of protection down, the enemy was able to uh, attack Job with sickness, took everything he had. Job was a, a super rich man, but he ended up losing everything. But in the end, he was tried by fire. You know, all the impurities in him was brought out and God gave him double for his trouble. But. Job was attacked. That's a perfect example. If you ever get a ch chance, read um, Job chapter one, and then and you can see, you know what Job went through. And that's one of the first books of the Bible, and what we're going through now. It's the same thing. So have a blessed day.